I make this video for those who bought the terrain add-on. So that's a true terrain 3.0. At the moment that is in sales. And so quite a lot of people bought it. So I think thought this is a good time to uh, show you something. It is a very nice uh, add-on. A very good uh, developer paid a lot of attention, I think. He developed for, I think, over a year ago. I think he's quite active. Um, so let's dive into the add-on. So first I go to Rain, a landscape. I don't have much time because I made a recording and it went uh, wrong because I did something wrong with the resolution. So I have only one hour left. But I want to show you uh, this because I think it's quite important. The other terrain. Um, you can play with these uh, settings, but I think it's easier to start uh, with these noise type, noise basis. Um, try to make uh, something uh, with that. I like this one. So now I only have to scale it up and the proportions stay the same. But that, that, that's not really what I want to talk about. Oh yeah, and if you have the the MB lab, you can just add a human uh, character. So yeah, I have an idea how big your terrain is. If you want to place a um, character inside. But again, this is not really the most important thing I want to show actually. And I put the mouse cursor here. And I click this one. Set origin to 3. So if I scale it now. Can scale it like that. Get the camera. If you have the EV Express, you can easily add your camera, adjust your camera like this. So um, next thing, I want to set up the render engine for this tutorial. I put this for now a bit down, and of course takes and uh, color management. Medium high contrast, and I add a shader, default shader, and I put this on 0 0.18. I copy that material, uh, material, I copy that value in all of the, in the triple um, thingy, RGB, I don't know the name at the moment. So then I load. And HDRI, HDRI, and I add something uh, quite neutral, I think, Metro from HDRI Heaven. So, uh, render settings. Now, this uh, is called mid gray because we gave it those uh, values. Well, what we do now is we go to this tab, color management, we go to field transform false color, and we try to set this as gray as possible. If you go to high is yellow, if you go to low is uh, green like that, but you want as much as uh, gray as possible. So that's something like this. Go back to filmic. So this, if you render this out, we don't see the terrain, and that is because of the clipping. We go clipping, and let's see, six hundred. We see it here. So then we render it out.
If you right click with the mouse, and you see here are a few values. Um, so if I go with the mouse cursor above the gray, you see values here. The CM stands for color management, color managed. So we have here that's the scene values, that's like raw data. We see values like uh, 0 0.02, uh, so and then we got the few transform that is there. Uh, filmic in this case. You go back here. Switch to image editor. There we have that. Um, if we right click with the mouse, we see those values here. So we see indeed the values here under. That is uh, not uh, zero, not one, but quite in between. I like uh, zero, almost. 0 0.5, so that is then mid gray. So we have then a kind of reference, and if we check a person, a skin shader, it looks indeed could be a skin. So we have now if how. A reference. We delete this material and then we go to the terrain anon. You see that I changed uh, the thumbnails because originally, let me see if I can find it. Originally, these thumbnails are coming with the terrain anon and this one. But what I, what I wanted to see is how those materials fit in an HDRI when you render it like this. Uh, so the background, you see, it's all, all the same. So now I can compare those materials. I can see how they fit into the scene a little bit. And I can see exactly how these materials compared to each other. <laughs> you can see that this one is very bright. And the darkest is then maybe this one or field rock. So let's uh, set up a material for this. And um, I want to start with ground forest roots. Now you can in this add-on you can set the ground and the rocks, so that means you can set the material for the ground level and then the rocks that is a bit higher level. So you see your ground rocks on the ground. You can choose ground materials, you can also choose rocks and for the upper part you can choose some ground or rocks. But I'm going to choose for now the same material because I want to have this material correct. So I add material. Then uh, there is a displacement. I switch that off now. I go to settings, displacement, bump only. So this is the forest roots. But when we check, um, it is quite uh, bright, it's not that, also not very brown. But we can uh, fix that. Oops, again. So we open a new tab here. Uh, for a while, I switch over to EV Render, that's for this tutorial then. And then I go to the Shader Editor. So I select the terrain. There I see two nodes, ground and rocks. Um, I select the ground. And I see a principal chair here. And there I add color. Use saturation, plug that right before the base color socket. So I turn value down and I want to 
check uh, turn the ground fault coverage to zero so I know I have that material. So now I can adjust uh, this material. You can also use brightness and contrast, but that one is a little bit broken, uh, has a broken formula for scene referred data. It is, not, it is not really safe to use. It's not safe to use for textures. It's a bit safer to use as this. So not much can go wrong with that. But of course, best is to have good textures that has good albedo values and then the, the the material will fit in every scene, but in this case we, we are going to adjust a little bit. I think the value could be around this. I also add mix RGB, put this and multiply, and then I add something like uh, the, uh, because we are talking about forest roots and forest. Yeah, I expect there to um, that there is a ground that is a little bit brownish. So this seems to be a good uh, color around that. So you put a value uh, up. You give them a little bit of saturation, and then if you slide this one, you can adjust the temperature somehow. I'm not an expert, I'm not a colorist, but this seems to work. So we get here then our forest uh, roots that fits a little bit better into the scene. So now let's go to a forest actually and let's check. Yeah, actually, that was the most important thing. A lot of things to talk about, 